When the Browns drafted Baker Mayfield, we had the hope and swagger, and of course it's been a lot of, I'm not going to say all Baker all the time, but pretty close. First pick in the draft, quarterback, an important selection. Uh, I watched the first two OTAs where Baker was out there, and I saw some good things and bad things. I mean, one thing is very evident. When he knows kind of where he wants to go with the ball for the first or second option, he'll drop back quick right away and a fast release, and he's accurate passing it. It's when kind of those first two options break down, and he's still trying to figure out some things. I thought overall, too, he's looked pretty decent taking some snaps under center. So some improvement for Baker coming in, and the great thing, which I've loved from the beginning is having Tyrod Taylor means you don't have to have Baker Mayfield ready for opening day. I don't want him to play opening day. Take your time. Do this right. But that actually, the take your time, do this right, does not exactly hold true for the other first round pick the Browns head up high, which is Denzel Ward, defensive back from Ohio State, played at Nordonia. And the cool thing is to see how Denzel Ward even in the OTAs, is beginning to show why the Browns had him ranked as their number one non-quarterback on their draft board, you know, above, above Bradley Chubb or any of these other players, and including Saquon Barkley. They had this guy rated above Saquon Barkley. So my guess is part of it is they really value cornerbacks, the guy that could cover. Secondly, Ward ran a 4-3-2 in the 40 in the NFL combat, the fastest anybody ran. They value speed. Thirdly, played at Ohio State, big time program. Um, and lastly, if you cannot bring pressure on the line against a, a quarterback, the other thing you need is, of course, your star cornerbacks to be able to go against the star receivers. The Browns have, you know, some good cornerbacks, I would say, but certainly they don't have any elite ones. You know, Ward is somebody that could do that. Now, Ward's different. He, by the way, he finally he moved up in the third OTA to first string. And Greg Williams, the defensive coordinator, is a little slow about wanting to move these guys up too fast. Now, we'll see if he starts or not. But I would rather say this, having watched Enzo Ward in a couple of these OTAs, that he's looking good early as opposed to, oh, my goodness, he's going to the left, the receiver's going to the right and catching 40-yard passes on him. And when, finally, just like when you watch OTAs or you watch these mini camps, um, it's really glorified touch football. So what can you see? Actually, this is like if you watch a touch football game. A receiver goes out for a pass. The cornerback or defensive back or safety, whoever it is, is covering him. You see him going step for step. A ball is throwing. Do you, do you break it up or not? So that you could see as opposed to like what goes on in the line of scrimmage with the blocking and so on. So, so far, I think, Baker or Mayfield showing some decent progress at quarterback. Uh, again, we don't have to put the Jets on him to rush him to action. I think just as important is how Denzel Ward has played so well so early.